Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Missy B London. As you can see, I'm giving a little sneak peek as in the outcome of the twist out style that I did in my hair using the As I Am Core Collection original hair products in my hair. Of course, I wash my hair first, I deep condition my hair, and then I use the detangling conditioner and then I use the twist defining cream in my hair hair to help enhance the curls as well but yes watch me <laughs> watch me include some of how I styled my hair in this video right now and to be honest I think because I was tired I should have made the sections a little bit smaller but you know what i will make sure next time when i do a twist out hairstyle to make the sections a bit smaller but you're gonna see as we go along in this video right here yes it's a bit choppy as well because as you know i've got camera issues and it can't record for a long time so i have to keep on stopping and starting which kind of interrupts the flow of me doing my hairstyle videos as well but i'm doing what i can right now with my camera i guess when i put the product in my hair again and finger detangling my hair i didn't use a comb in my hair as well i use my hands most of the time and if you guys have been with me for a long time you see that i like to detangle my hair with my hands most of the time because i just find it easier that way simple the hands are there the hands are easy to use to detangle your hair so that's what i'm doing i mean look at the curls that pop in you know what i've been looking or well, i've been realizing how my hair has changed a lot since my youtube journey from 2017 till now this video was recorded in october 2019 and my hair i've noticed recently especially how when i wash my hair it's more stronger it's more coilier than before when it was just a bit limp and not healthy than how it is now my hair went through many struggles this year as well but it seems to be getting better and stronger so i'm thankful for that as you can see the shrinkage is real as usual that's normal with type 4 hair people as well but i get through it it's a sign of strength it's a sign that your hair is healthy anyway look i'm doing this the big sections at the back of my hair because like i said i was tired so at least i know now sections that are big the results will not be that good compared to if the sections are smaller then the curl definition will be much more better but yeah here's me doing i redid this because i think it was a plat initially then i thought let me just turn it into a flat twist yeah what i'm doing now which i didn't say i'm doing flat twist in my hair to get the twist out effect in my hair when i unravel the flat twist which i left these in my hair for like a day or maybe two days i need to actually write my notes down when i actually do certain stuff because sometimes when it comes back to doing voiceovers because i don't do voiceover straight away I kind of forget and now I just spritz my hair with the Coco Shea my favorite Coco Shea spray in my hair infused with coconut oil and shea butter oil as well and a couple other good beneficial oils as well so that's what I just do but yeah and then and then and then look what I do next because it's night time yeah so what what shall I do next <laughs> I'm just like oh my hair is coily i got my hair bonnet my satin hair bonnet i've been using it for like since i got it a couple of months ago it's coming very very useful i supposed to do a video of you know the good things that i've been using for my hair which i will do eventually but yeah as you can see i'm gonna go sleep and then the following day or the day after let's unravel this hair another tip as well i think i had to wear a wig and because the flat twists were bumpy at the top of my head and there was no middle parting i kind of had to unravel this hair and get this style done and recorded quicker than what i expected so next time make sure i have a middle parting and just do the flat twist on either side so when i wear a wig it's not too bulky on my head so 
I learned that for next time. I'm, I was experimenting on how I was going to do the flat twist anyway. So I know for next time. Parting in the middle of your hair. The parting line, middle of your hair. And then do the flat twist going down. That's it. But make sure the parting line's in the middle. But yeah, as you can see, I am just unraveling the twist right now. I mean, look at the definition though. The definition is very good at the front sections of my hair. But at the back sections on my hair it could have been better but like i said because the sections that i did the flat twist were kind of big that is why but yeah it's been a while i've not done proper hair videos for a long time as you know situations life summertime yeah but i'm trying to gradually get back into doing hair videos but if you've not done something for a while it's a bit of a task to get back into it but yeah now i'm just unraveling the flat twist at the back of my head yeah i know it's a bit quiet like i'm watching the video myself <laughs> literally i'm watching my video of me unraveling my hair myself because that is just what i do and the products that i use in my hair were very moisturized because i can you can see the shine on my hands as well and i think maybe did i put a little bit of oil on my hands i literally don't remember if i don't put it in front of the camera i don't remember sometimes but yeah the products are very moisturizing on my hair i've no i have, I have had no issues using as i am products yet so yeah so i'm just dividing the thicker sections into two into two yeah that's what i'm doing yeah like i'm saying this bit here you can see a definition is not the best literally is not the best that's why that section should have been a bit smaller but hey i learned for next time hey yeah yeah i'm still watching again <laughs> i am doing this voiceover in november yeah so forgive me for not actually knowing what i do next apart from watching the video to know what i do next as you can see i am using the afro pick in my hair now as well to fluff it out a little bit to give my hair a little bit more volume yes and i'm thinking again i used to say my hair was a type 4c and now i'm thinking nowadays it's a type 4 b slash c i have thinner sections around the edges of my hair compared to the thickness in the middle of my head but i just feel i see type 4c and sometimes their hair is more stronger and more coilier than my hair so i'm saying for type 4c when i think it may be type 4b but that's just me let's just see i'll figure it out eventually but I still like the results and my hair felt soft as well and it felt nice. I like when I do twist outs because it gives my hair definition. It gives it a bit of a texturized look as well compared to just like a normal afro. Because a normal afro just looks a bit boring on my head sometimes. But yeah, here you go. I'm getting close to the end of this and I'm fluffing out a little bit more. As you can see again the ends could have been more defined but because of my technique and because the sections were a little bit big this is how it come out but I still made it look good and I was still happy with the results anyway as well and like I said my hair was soft my hair was moisturized my hair felt good my hair looked good as well so you know what I'm thankful for that so we're close to the end of this video thank you for watching if it was useful let me know drop some comments in the comments box got comments box below thank you for watching again if you're new press the bread button there are gonna be more hair videos coming out soon press the bell notification so you can know when I drop a new video like I say thank you for watching goodbye see you soon <laughs>